Could've, could've done without all that sass, but okay. I'm back. My internet sucks, I missed editing, and you missed me, so let's get into it. Alright, so, in lieu of the lack of mod showcases that I see recently, most people just do, like, modded survival or some shit like that. I'm gonna start my own thing called Marketplace Showcase, where, well, ever so often as I can afford to, I'm going to show you guys a new map and tell you who it's by. Uh, unfortunately, I'm too lazy to do my research right this second, so I'm going to put it on the screen right now. But I know this is the Armor expansion, and uh, we're just gonna get right into it. Wow, command blocks. Here you'll find all the custom armor that you can craft. We have also given you tons of rooms to stay. Tons of tons of rooms, rooms to stay. You may not stay in them. They just may stay. As well as semi-automatic farms for your food source. Oh yeah, Kubo Studios, there it is. There you go, me, me go in there in the past, put Kubo Studios. And then also underneath it put like, I don't know. What, what gifts do we have on this PlayStation? Just just put put something. Something underneath it. Uh, yeah. Feed the back them there. I Why did they give me farms if they're going to... You know what? Let's go. We're jumping... Okay, thank you. You're going to show me how to craft my armor? Build redstones? Okay. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, I under, that's the premise. Can I... Th thank you. Thank you. A redstone chest plate, you say. Well, I ain't too bright, but let's see if I remember how to craft a chest plate. I I can't equip the armor without the... Can I... No. Wow, you, you really can't. That's crazy. That immediately feels like a, a very large oversight. I... Why are the leggings a tor- You know what? You know what? It's not for me to judge. I'm sure it'll look great. Now place all your armor pieces in the crafting table. Is this how armor works? I was not aware. See, I thought you just put it on your body. But I was- I was a lie. Wow. Oh, this actually looks kind of good. I'm not going to lie. What now? Oh, okay, that's the end of the tutorial. Uh, huh. You're not allowed to place the custom armor on armor stands. Big sad. Oh well, moving on. Can I use these armors in my own world? It is marketplace restrictions. See, I fucking knew it. Why do they do that? Why do they restrict you like that? Just let me have all my mods in one world. I'll work it all in the current version. We coded this on where you have to craft them into one armor set. Wow, you gotta have the whole set, huh? Cake armor. I mean, cake armor is like the... What, what the fuck is this then? These are on armor stands. We've, I've immediately been lied to. Speed... <laughs> speed free... <laughs> for 16,000 minutes. I suppose I should go through all of these. Because, you know, that's what one would typically do in a mod review. I don't know, I'm trying to set a new precedent here. Let's let's see if they have a way to display them on their own first. And then if not, we'll kind of go through them and what they do. Uh, I apologize to, um... Kubro Studio? Yeah, just, just dub over whatever the... But I apologize to them for... First of all, for not knowing their name twice in a row now, and secondly, for doing their map an injustice. I'm not even going to try and lie, it has been a long, long time since I've even recorded a video, let alone let one see the light of day. So if you're seeing this, congratulations. This is the first of, like, many videos that I did not just kill in production.
And I guarantee you this is going to be overly edited because that's my new style. And my style changes with the wind. And the wind has blown a lot in the last three years. With no easy way to show off the armors, I may just head into creative after I kind of list them all off and show them and show what they do. And just kind of just kind of showcase them a little, you know? So let's, uh, let's go through them real quick. So we have your basic armor. It's just... <laughs> look how they put these here like they made them. The chain set. The, the regular regular chain armor. And then the gold set. The, the regular regular gold butter armor. The butter armor. The emerald set. It's like a permanent discount card. I mean I guess I guess that's handy. I don't trade with villagers that much but I'm also a noob so I like, I like the headset. Uh, zombie armor, obviously we looked at it earlier. Uh, it camos you to the zombies. That's pretty neat. That's kind of cool. I like that. Vampire set. A 50% chance to get regeneration 2 when hit. Not when hitting, but when hit. It's the masochist armor. The undying set. 50% chance to save you from death. You have a coin flip. If you lose this coin flip, your items are gone. Next up, we have the Strider set with mushroom hat, toad. Anyway, Strider set, unlimited fire resistance, water deals damage. So you turn into this weird combination of a nether mob and, and you're a blaze. You become a blaze that can't fly. Straw set, fit. Oh my god, I found my favorite set immediately. Phantoms just fuck off. It's it's my favorite. All right, next we have the stew set. Gives randoms effects when attacked. Honestly, really vibing with the apron. I like that. It's just regular ass shoes. <laughs> oh wait, there's nothing but the apron. Oh, that's scandalous. Next we have the spider set. Friendly spiders, and has ability to climb wall. Oh, that's so good. That's so big if true. There's so many of these mods where you can turn into mobs and the spiders just don't fucking work. The slime set. It, it's, it's just a lucky horseshoe from Terraria, which is coming back, by the way. Terraria is definitely coming back. Skeletal set. Prevents skeletons from attacking. So it... Just, it, if it's a set of an enemy, just assume that that enemy no longer attacks you unless it's a slime. Because for some reason, fuck you, slimes are still gonna attack you. Okay, next we got the rabbit set, unlimited jump boost. I so wait, that's confusing. First of all, furry, but secondly, does it can you just jump infinitely? Like if I hit the jump button, am I going into the fucking stratosphere or is it just like endless? Like I feel like unlimited was maybe the incorrect word. I don't know. The Poseidon set, breathe underwater but die above what so it gills. It just gives you gills. This is such a niche armor set. <laughs> Like, I love the idea, but it's it's just so niche. The Obsidian set, unlimited fire resistance, but gives slowness to... What? What is with these niche-ass armor effects? Oh my god, it reminds me of, like, later stands from JoJo. It gives you the ability to wade through lava, but only if you suffer from poison. And it aggro's extra mobs to you, but it also makes you invincible to fall damage. All it needs is like a reference to a 2000s song. Ninja set, 40% chance to be invisible when attacked. Now look, I understand they meant turn invisible. I'm just imagining this scenario where like, the mob goes to hit you and you're just not there 40% of the time. And I think that's so funny. Alright, we're finally at the halfway point. I just want you to know that's half. That's half of them. Actually, I think that's a little less than half. That's... 16 of them? How many are there? 30. So actually it's just over half. Okay. Next up we have the nature set. Forest related biomes give you a health boost. That, that is surprisingly, I know, I'm a hypocrite because I talk about how niche those are, but that's actually really super useful. Like dark forests, all like regular forest, birch forest, that's like, that's like a good third of the world at least that you just have health boost in. Alright, next up we have the chun, I mean, lapis set. It gives resistance. That, that's it. it. It just, it gives resistance. It doesn't say what to. It could literally be resistance to your mama for all we care. Alright, next we have the Iron Golem set. 
uh, high armor points, but it gives slowness. So you're telling me the set that gives you all this extra defense only gives you slowness one. But the one that lets you wade through lava, which you could just do with a potion effect, gives you slowness two. Mind you, there is a potion called Potion of the Turtle Master that gives you more defense, and it gives you slowness too. This is just buffed Potion of the Turtle Master. I... I love how I'm looking to my left like there's someone to talk to. I, guys... I'm not okay. Next we have the glowing set. Glow in the dark with... Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I like that. I want that one. The frozen set. Enemies freeze for two seconds. This is super cool because freezing is kind of a new thing in Minecraft. I don't know if you've heard about it. Powdered snow? Kind of epic. Kind of cool. Except for when you fall into it. Then it's not so epic. Next we got the explosive set. 30% chance to explode if attacked. Again, I imagine like... I imagine like like you're safe from the explosion, but I just... I just imagine like a like a, a silverfish comes up to you and bites your ankle and you go ah, <laughs> you're just dead. <laughs> oh my god, guys, I'm not all right. This is this is way funnier than it should be. All right, and we have the Ender set. If hit, enemy will be teleported. The in the enemy will be teleported, not you. Which I guess, granted, better for balancing because you get hit and off a cliff and that kind of sucks. But like it just makes more sense to me being in the Enderman set that that it would teleport you. I don't know it. It's like that scrapped armor set from Dungeons. I, I don't get me started. We have the B set, which thematically is my favorite. Bees are awesome. Anyways, moving on. Uh, Twenty percent chance to summon bees when attacked. So it's just the hive armor again from, from Minecraft Dungeons. I, a lot of inspiration I see here. It, not not calling it a ripoff, rip off, but um, very obvious inspirations. Uh, next up, we have the dwarf set. Oh, I I actually kind of like it. you. You shrink to be one block tall. I actually kind of like that. Like the more I read into this, the more I want to do a survival series on this because I'm planning another one. But. Like You finished? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your whatever the fuck that was. Anyways, Survival Series is planned for a whole nother one. Uh, it's one of the mods that Log.zip put out, and I'm super excited for it because I, I saw it on the marketplace, instantly fell in love with it. I am really excited for it. Next up we have the cat set. Not to be confused with the cat suit. Which doesn't exist. Moving on. Uh, creepers will be scared to go close to you. So you know, if you're too lazy to to go to go tame a cat, I, I guess this this works instead. So this is the cake set. If you get hurt, you will restore hunger. So I the the suit's made of cake, but instead of the mobs eating the cake, you you eat the cake when you're hurt. I look, I don't get it, man. I, uh, cactus set has instant thorn enchantments. So as cactus armor should, they they nailed that one actually better than Terraria did, because it took Terraria, like, I don't even know how many updates to get that right. So kudos to him. Alright, we're getting into the last four, and we're wearing one of them. Redstone just... Why do they always make redstone give you speed? The blast set. Oh, like a blast furnace, I see. Receive speed two if on fire. <laughs> then reach into... <laughs> I'm sorry. I need a second to recover. Receive speed too. If on fire. Oh, I love this. It's so wacky. The bedrock set. Receive no damage. No damage, but get this. Completely immobile. Let alone how the fuck you craft this. I can think of like three scenarios where you would want this. And none of them are practical. And the thing is, is like, I imagine even if you can't be like damaged, you can still be knocked back. 
I oh my god, I have to try this armor. And finally, we have the Achilles set. Well, not finally, but we're wearing that one. So, grants immortality, but has a bad side effect. That's that's a little vague, sir. What are we talking like? Well, if it grants immortality, obviously it's not like poison. So that really only leaves like hunger or nausea. Unless it's like random each time, I'm not sure. So now that we have like looked at all of them and what they do, we need to look at like their their recipes. We're just kind of gonna glance over them. Obviously, the emerald armor takes emerald. Obsidian takes obsidian. I'm curious, how do you make the bedrock armor? Uh, the ender armor is ender pearls. How do you make the dwarf armor? That actually sounds cool as hell. The armor ninja. The ninja armor is made with nether brick. Gold block for the dwarf armor. I should have figured. You make bedrock armor with bedrock. But do I need to tell you what the issue is with that? Do I need to explain it to you? Because if I do, what are you doing? So let's go see if I can like find some armor out in the wild, I'm hoping. Because if not, this is going to be a very, very long recording session. Alright, so right outside Big Ass Mountain over- I- Look, that's that's how they built it. I don't know what's in it. Uh, we'll discover that later, maybe. I don't know. Quick side note, I'm thinking about it now. There's both a vampire, zombie, and skeletal set, none of which make you take damage during the day. Alright, so out in the middle of the field next to the big mountain where the bunker was, because of course it was, uh, I've set up a little showcase area to show off all the armors. I, I'm sure there was a way to get them legitimately. You can find that out when you buy it for yourself. But... I'm going to start off with the ones that, that don't require me to be to be hurt first, and then we'll work our way to the more extreme. So first we're going to grab the Achilles set because, yes, it looks super cool. Uh, let's see. Okay. What's the... What's the bad effect? Do I have to take damage for it to work? I... I, I think this might this might be bugged. I think it just makes you invincible. That's kind of good. Uh, we're gonna show off the zombie set next. This one makes you completely disguised to zombies. Meaning, if I smack this dude, even if I let him out, he's not gonna be able to hurt me. If it's working as intended, which I mean I'm sure it is. Why would I even say that? Got that? As you can see, he's completely unable to hit me, and also kind of unwilling because there's a villager. That's why we have this, though. The old taint tickler gets him every time. Alright, next we're going to try on the obsidian set, which makes you invulnerable to lava, but gives you slowness too. Which actually, now that I'm experiencing it, is not as bad as I remember it being. But as you can see, I'm going to step into this lava and be completely fine. I believe it also works with fire as well. Yeah, see? Completely fire resistant. Not a bad trade, honestly, if you're tired of dying to lava, but man, the slowness sucks. Alright, next we're going to check out the Poseidon set. Now this one makes it so you breathe water instead of air. So I don't know if I'm just going to instantly start taking damage or if I'm going to start drowning. We'll see. Ah, I start drowning. See, that's actually kind of good, though, because now I can just... I like that a lot. I would use the hell out of this armor, honestly, in a survival... This would absolutely be worth it if I could get my hands on it. I'd have to look at the crafting recipe. Again, that's something else you'll have to look at when you buy this mod. Alright, the next up is the rabbit set. It's pretty basic. It just gives you jump boost. Is it a sing it's just a singular jump boost? How high do I jump? Oh yeah, it's just jump boost one. That's just a block and a half. That's honestly a little sad. I hope you don't have to do much to get this armor. Plus it really doesn't look the best. I mean, it could have at least put some like cartoon titties on it or something. I don't know. Anyways, moving on. And of course, this is the redstone set. We're already acquainted with this one. It just gives you a slight speed boost with no real downsides. About as vanilla as it gets. This one is personally the one I have been the most excited about. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it so much. Does it move your camera? 
It doesn't. That's disappointing. Wait, so if I try and go up under here, it's going to glitch out the camera, isn't it? It usually does. Yes. Oh, and, I, yeah, and you drown. That's awesome. That's wildly disappointing. I, uh... I understand it must be very difficult to make, like, to make armor sets that make you one block tall that actually work, or any item in that in general. But man, I hate it when you think it's going to work and then that happens. Oh well. Still looks cute though. Moving on. Alright, next we have the cat set, or the other furry set, if you will. Uh, so wearing this, I should be able to walk up to this creeper and he should run away. Yep, there he goes. Fight me, you coward. Oh, I can't even hit him. It, I don't know if I'm just too far. No, because I'm not too far away because I can mine that block. He, he's just so scared I can't hit him. Oh, wait, no, he's coming this way. There he goes. So, yeah, it, it's a cat set. What do you want? It works as intended. All right, so for this next one is the emerald set, which gives you a discount with uh, trading with villagers. Now, before I put it on, I'll show you. Don't Please don't pull up the villager. I need him. So if I show you right now, he wants 15 coal for an emerald and 3 emerald for an axe. We put on the emerald set, and now he wants, yeah, slightly better. It's just, it's like having Hero of the Village. That's literally what it gives you is Hero of the Village. Uh, it's pretty neat, I guess, if you have the emeralds laying around, obviously, though. If you have the emeralds for this set, why not just spend them on the villager? I don't know. Next up we have the Strider set. Also, I'm realizing, like, way too far into the recording how horrendous my microphone quality is. No, there's nothing I can really do about it. I apologize. I just have to sound like a deep-fried meme from 2015 the whole time. I hope you enjoy. Either way, here's the Strider set. Yes, that is a mushroom on my head. Yes, the set is ten times more adorable than the mob. Anyways, Strider set... Ow, ow, does not make you immune to lava. Ow, ow. But it does make you take damage in water, so it's, it's a double-edged sword, okay? It makes you immune to fire. It does not... Oh, it lied. Oh, it hurts! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the Strider set works. Oh my god. That's horrifying. Ah, oh, that hurts. It's okay, it's okay. Cause cause next we're gonna put on we're gonna put on the, the blast furnace set and it's gonna heal me. Please, please uh or I could die, that works too. Be right back. Oh there's there's the regeneration, thank you. So anyways, the blast furnace set, I, I don't know if the strider set works or not. I don't I I know it makes you take damage in water. That's about it. I can't remember what it was supposed to do other than that. I'd have to look back. Um re, re replay the clip just real quick. Anyway, strider set, unlimited fire resistance. Water deals damage. Yeah, it does that. Uh but anyways, the blast furnace set, setting yourself on fire gives you speed boost and then regeneration. Which, as you can see, very, very clearly works. Ah, and then it gives you... Okay, nice. So it's kind of like a risk-reward thing. Set yourself on fire, run in, like, run away or run into battle or whatever, and then when you extinguish, you heal. It's kind of nice. I like that, actually. I might... I would use that in PvP. Alright, so this next one's going to be a dual showcase. Uh, as you can see, I've got a pillar there. I'm going to climb it with the spider set, which allows wall climbing. And I'm also going to show you that this spider... Once I free it, has absolutely no interest in attacking me now. As you can see, I can walk right up to him. He can't hurt me. Now I'm going to go climb this wall real quick. I... Please? May I? Hello? Don't do this to me, man. I was excited for this one. How do I... How do you climb wall? <laughs> Shit. Ah, come on. Really? It just lets you glide? It's just honey blocks everywhere. That's... That's the biggest disappointment of 2022, easily. I Some of these sets need a bit of work. Better, I just remember their descriptions wrong. This is the slime set. Looks very cool. I still, I still think it looks like Terraria armor. But this is supposed to negate fall damage. It, it did not. It worked like a slime block. I, some of these some of these armor descriptions need to be tweaked just a little. And next we have the skeletal set, which, if you can believe it, makes you invisible to skeletons. Which, I mean, if you're like me, this is like the most invaluable early game set. As you can see, no interest. 
I could do I could do anything to this man right now. No interest. So I think that's pretty cool. It's I would use the hell out of that, especially when caving early game. That's super nice. All right, so I just want to showcase. I imagine the bedrock set actually works. Like right, if it's gonna give if it's gonna make you immobile with slowness, it's got to work. So I just I want to I want to try out everything. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and start drowning real quick, and then put it on and see what happens. Yeah, so it, it, it works. You are completely immune to even drowning damage. That's insane. And it even resets your, your bubbles. That's kind of nice. I'm going to try the lava now. Immune. Completely, totally immune. That's so wild. I just want to look, too. Hang on, let me... I have to try something. Okay, so I'm going to teleport myself a hundred blocks in the air and put this on and see what happens. Oh god, wait, no, it won't let me. Oh, well, that was... That was anticlimactic. <laughs> just, just edit this out. Edit all this out. Yeah, it gets fall damage. I also have no clue where I am, so... Please excuse me while I go drown myself. So that's the bedrock armor set. It makes you immune to everything. And also immobile. As you can see, I when I jump, it unequips. Any any amount of like any attempt to move with this armor on removes it. So you, you can't be slick and jump like and move. And what you can do is like jump and sprint and put it on. Super quick. But even when I was trying to test the fall damage, as I, as you fall, if you fall so far, it unequips. So, very neat though, very busted, and I don't know how you're supposed to acquire bedrock for it. I, I imagine it's somewhere on the map. All right, so this next one is another one of my personal favorites so far. Potentially a little busted, depends on how lucky you are. Literally, the Undying set, and it makes it a it's a coin flip when you would die. Whether or not it revives you. This is gonna hurt a lot. I've wanted to do this since I was like 10. Just a little reminder for everybody. Yeah, I've, I've been at this for, for 12 years. This is what I'm doing now. Oh, cool, it activates now. Now that I've, you know, died. <laughs> wow, how am I supposed to die now? Can I remove it and it removes the effects? No, it just, it works like a totem of undead. Okay. Uh, tell you what, we're going to take the coward's way out. I can't put it back on. <laughs> it won't let me. <laughs> oh, no, I broken it. Oh, uh, well, it kind of works, I suppose, I guess. I don't know. Moving on. This is one of my absolute favorites by far. I am now Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to let this skeleton shoot at us. And there is a 40, 30% chance that it will spawn a bee. So I'm extremely unlucky already because it should have already spawned bees. That's one in every three. That one's a free one. That one was two. Get your licks in while you can, buddy. So this is kind of embarrassing. For the purpose of the showcase, I did turn mob spawning off. <laughs> it's very likely why this isn't working. Um, we're just we're gonna assume it works, and uh, yeah, it'll be fine. I'll try it again after after I try the Phantom set. How about that? All right, this next one is the TNT set. It does about what you'd expect. So I'm gonna stand back here, and like in an episode of Jackass, I'm just going to let myself get shot and see what happens. All right. Uh huh. 
What was the chance for explosion again? I feel like we're well beyond it. This will not work either. I... Come on. Do something. Anything. Please. Come on, I, this is ridiculous. Come on. You missed. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know if this one doesn't work because of entities or whatever either. I'm, I'm unsure. Uh, that might be an oopsie on my bad. I'm not going to say it's the developer's fault on that one. Uh, I'm unsure. Alright, so this one is the cactus set. It comes with thorns. And since I already killed the zombie, we're going to have to test this out on the spider. Stay the fuck away from me. No. Hit me. Do it, you pussy. Do it, pussy! Haha, <laughs> you fool! Okay, I'm gonna get out of there before he kills me. So that's the cactus set. It does exactly what you'd expect. Uh, well made, though. You know, one thing I've realized from killing myself repeatedly is lava's a lot more forgiving than it used to be. Anyways, this is the frozen set. This has a chance, well, not a chance, it does freeze mobs when you're hit. And I'm excited to see this one because freezing is a new thing in Minecraft and I hope it actually works. Hey, dumb bitch. Dumb bitch hit me. Wow, he, um... Sure is frozen. Oh, oh, he's free. Oh, dear lord, he's free. <laughs> okay. Well, we have run out of test subjects to hurt me except for the skeleton. So, God help us if the skeleton gets free. That's the frozen set, though. So, see, here's the problem. The, uh, the ender set... It kind of, uh, it teleports the enemy instead of you. Remember that little mini rant I went on when I was talking about it? Yeah. We, um... <laughs> We can't really properly test this one without letting the skeleton loose, and I just, just got through saying how we need to not do that. So, th this one, this one's a phantom armor. We'll, I'll, I'll, I'll start calling them phantom armors, it's fine. We'll test it out in a minute. Alright, up next we have the cake set. And yes, I realize this, like, way too far in, but I'm not showing you the armor values of these things at all. Mostly because I don't know. I mean, you can guess by the armor bars if you're good at math and Minecraft and stuff like that. You you can run the numbers. I, I don't know personally. I mean, I guess I could have like shown you a control, but oh well. This is the cake set. It refills your hunger when you take damage, because that makes sense. And we live in a society. I'm gonna go lose some hunger real quick. I've been running around this entire time trying to lose hunger, just now realizing that I, f <laughs> that I set myself on fire, and that's probably why I haven't lost hunger despite giving myself hunger for. So I guess that entire little montage right there shows you that this, this armor works. I don't know what else to say. Moving. Okay, this next set, the vampire set, pretty straightforward. You take damage, you have a chance to regenerate. Makes sense. As long as you don't think about it too hard. Will this one work? Ow. 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 Please. Please don't. No. Ow. 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 I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> Let me like test it in lava. Lava? Yes. No. No. Okie doke. That's another one that don't work. Unless I read the description wrong. I don't know. Uh, if I did, go back and correct me. But, uh, that's a no. This is the perfect time to show off the nature set which, in any kind of forest biome, gives you a health boost. I... I guess this doesn't 
count as a forest. Let's go see if that does. This is technically a plains, I suppose. Let's uh, let's go check the forest over here. I I can't I can't understand. Yeah, there we go. Health boost. <laughs> what the fuck is a health boost? Hang on, what is this effect? Hang on, I have to see this. We're learning together. Minecraft health boost. It... It gives you extra hearts. <sighs> I'm not cutting this. I've given myself enough leeway. Oh. I, it worked, so it's nature armor. This showcase is going on forever. Dude, I have <laughs> two full-length clips already, mind you. This is... Oh, my God. Anyways, this is the ninja set. This gives you a chance to... To invisible. If I remember verbatim, it says a chance to invisible when hit. I don't know if I buy it, honestly, at this point. All the ones that require you to get hit have not been working for me. I don't know if it's because I'm trying them on a skeleton. Okay. Yeah, that's enough, Mr. Skeleton. Thank you. Yeah, I'm thinking it's the skeleton. Um, hold up just a second. Okay, so I've summoned a new zombie, and we're going to we're going to try the ninja set again. Well, first of all, we're going to try the vampire set because I'm low on health. Also, not swappable. Learning that now. Also, the vampire set has full armor. This one's good. It's supposed to be. Let's see. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me! Come on, hit me! This is like the shittiest. There we go. Yeah, there's regen. No, wait, no, it's not. Never mind. Wait, yep. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, there it goes. That is not worth getting hit. Oh, it's gonna fucking kill me. Stop! It killed me. Okay, let's try the ninja set now. Hey, asshole. Ha! I'm invisible. Oh, you can still see me. That that sucks. Uh, let's try the TNT armor. Hey. Why am I still in third person? Go up. Yeah! It does work, and it also hurts you in the process. Nice. Alright, I kind of like that. I vibe with that. Except for the half of Heart of Fall damage that you constantly take. Alright, so these sets do work, just only with melee mobs. Keep that in mind. Alright, next we're going to show off the glowing set, because I liked this one, and I somehow missed it when I was going for the non-lethal ones. Wow, it, um... It sure does give you night vision. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. I don't know why I was expecting it to, like, glow. It, uh... It sure does give you night vision. This is the lapis set. Yes, it does just give you resistance one for an infinite amount of time. Yes, it it does make you look like a pretty, pretty princess. I think we all know what resistance one does. Next we have the iron golem set. Applies slowness one. Slowness one, mind you, and gives you defense. It's it's as good as the lapis armor, guys. I'm not going to lie to you here. There's there's not a lot of diversity. It's, uh, it's mostly just aesthetic at this point. And slowness, so. Alright, next up we have the stew set, which applies you a random potion effect when hit. This this is the most Minecraft dungeon sounding shit I've ever heard in my life. Let's try it out though, we'll just summon a zombie real quick. Alright, nothing. I got poison. That's <laughs> I got blind. Oh jump boost, thank god. Oh my god. What? <laughs> it kills. What the hell is this armor? Hey. Uh, and then I got the glow in the dark set. Jump boost again. I mean, this is. If you're chaotic neutral, and now I have weakness. If you're chaotic neutral, this is the armor for you. This is so insane. And then I'm dead again. It doesn't even offer that much protection either. Like, that's the wacky part about it. 
Also, it seems like almost all the potion effects are bad. This is this is insane. This is absolute insanity. Can I get any good one besides jump boost? It doesn't appear so, no. This is I cannot believe this is a real armor set that they made. I who wants this? Okay, I've given myself a way to survive now, so we're gonna we're gonna see how many times I have to get hit before I get a good potion effect besides night vision or jump boost, because if that's all you get from this armor, I can't see why you would wear it unless you were just a, a pure chaos. I got regen for a second there, there's night vision. This is the most ridiculous armor I think I've ever seen in my life. There's jump, I really think this is all it gives you. I'm really giving it like a fair swing here and it is just not, it's not doing nothing for me. In fact, it's doing things to me, doing horrible, unspeakable things. Alright, that's enough out of you. Anyways, that's the Bruce. Okay, and with that we've come to our last three sets. The Straw set, and we're revisiting the Ender set, and the B set. Because I did not give them a fair swing. The B set may still not work, because I haven't turned mob spawning on, but I'm going to if it still doesn't work. I, I want this set to work, I don't think you understand. So the straw set scares away, I'm blinking, what are they called? Phantoms. So we're going to try that out. It's practically the second half of the cat armor if you really truly think about it. Because cats also scare away phantoms. If you didn't know, fun fact for you, not that it's, not that you can really tell because like, it's, 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 it's a phantom. But anyways, yeah, that's how that one works. We're going to try the Ender set once again. I'm going to have the zombie attack me some more. Alright, hit me. Ah, see? It does work against the phantoms. Wow, that, um... <laughs> That's really not working for me. I don't know if I'm just really unlucky or what. There it goes. I would actually not mind that. That that This could be some really tanky armor. I mean, it works decently well. It could be some tanky armor. You run in for your friends and... Keep the mobs at bay. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Except for when you're trying to fight phantoms, then it works against you. Alright, next we have the bee set. Please. Spawn a bee. Spawn a bee. Yes! <laughs> yes! They do nothing. They they don't help. No! No! So this armor does not seem useful. Anyways, though, I was going to say... Once you get enough bees spawned to your satisfaction, you could like do the old bait and switch. Where the stop running in circles? You could piss them off. And I've learned if you run, come here. Really, that doesn't piss you off when I hit you. Am I unable to piss bees off with the armor on? Was the 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 bee armor was completely. You mean the whole time it was... Alright, but anyways, this has been a Marketplace Showcase on the... Oh, I don't even remember the name of it now. Put it up. Put it up right now. But yeah, that mod. That Marketplace item. Uh, I will currently be putting the name of it, who it's by, and the price of it in Minecoins on the screen. So that way you can consider buying it or not. I did not fully showcase the map, but this has already gone on long enough. And these armors are super cool on their own. So even if the map doesn't end up working for you, the, it's, the armors are super cool, let's be honest. So I hope you guys enjoy this... Ah, fuck you. I hope you enjoy this little introduction to this... He's persistent. I hope you guys enjoyed this introduction to this little series I'm hoping to do. Uh, I already have several more planned out, and a couple of series I want to do based on some of these. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.
Not the screenshot button, you dumbass. <laughs>